Hello DGS, this is Raven from DG Integrity. Welcome to Tech News episode 231. Pixel 6 users are reportedly experiencing a new calling bug that automatically places phone calls to random users in their contact list. The Google Assistant may be to blame for the issue being faced by early adopters and a temporary fix is also available for preventing those unauthorized auto calls. The users are calling this phenomenon ghost calling or a phantom calling. Google is also aware of this issue and has said that it is working on a fix. One of the few remaining Apple One computers, the company's first product will go on sale this week at an auction that is expected to fetch as much as 600,000 US dollars. Bitcoin on Tuesday, November 9th, opened trading at an all-time high of 68,327 US dollars, that is roughly around rupees 50.5 lakhs. As per the global crypto price tracker in India, Bitcoin is worth even more trading at 72,915 US dollars, that is roughly around rupees 53.9 lakhs per token on CoinSwitch Kuber. According to the world's oldest cryptocurrency, gained over 3.37 percentage in value to reach its historic high. Earlier in October. over the cryptocurrency had crossed the milestone of around 67000 US dollars that is around rupees 49.5 lakh indian rupees Meta owned social media application Instagram has been testing a subscription feature that seems heavily inspired by OnlyFans. It will let customers earn extra money by letting fans play a fee to unlock exclusive content like stories and live videos. Lava Agni 5G is officially launched as the company's first 5G phone in India. The key specifications include a 90 Hz LCD display, 64 megapixel primary camera, a 5000 mAh battery and a Dimensity 810 processor. Lava Agni 5G price in India is set for rupees 19999. Poco M4 Pro 5G has been launched globally. This handset is a rebranded version of Redmi Note 11 that debuted in China recently. The key specifications include a 6.6-inch display, MediaTek Dimensity 810 processor, 50 megapixel primary sensor, and it runs on Android 11 OS. Poco today held a launch event where the M4 Pro 5G was a main attraction. Apart from the M4 Pro 5G, the Chinese tech giant also announced the Poco F3 Moonlight Silver variant. The new variant is just a regular F3 with a new moonlight silver hue. Samsung is reportedly set to unveil its next generation flagship chipset as early as next week. According to a teaser post by the company, the Samsung claims to be ready to show the future of entertainment on Friday, November 19th. The Samsung Exynos 2200 in question is expected to be a big jump in terms of integrated graphics solution and it would bring to the table. As previous reports have confirmed that next generation flagship Samsung chipset is set to run on an AMD CPU solution. The later is expected to have lent Samsung its RDNA 2 generation based on custom mobile GPU. Samsung is the first to develop LPDDR5 x RAM bringing an improvement in speed and capacity over LPDDR5 RAM all while consuming around 20% of less energy. The LPDDR5 x RAM brings speeds up to 8.5 gigabits per second compared to LPDDR5 6.4 gigabits per second. The next generation RAM is built on 14 nanometer processors and will enable memory packages up to 64 GB RAM. We will see laptops and even smartphones and tablets with more RAM than ever before. Xiaomi 12 is likely to get a 100 watt fast charging system instead of 120 watt fast charging seam on the Mi 11T Pro. Xiaomi 12 base variants might drop the periscope and high definition ultra wide lens system. Xiaomi 12 has reached the final stages and the launch is expected to be scheduled soon. Realme has officially confirmed that it reaches around 10 million smartphone sales target it had projected for the year 2021 in the Chinese market. The company held the annual goal apart from the year as been achieved in this table of schedule. The company had set the annual goal at the start of this year and has achieved it ahead of schedule. Motorola Edge 30 Ultra has been tipped to get a Qualcomm upcoming 4 nanometer Snapdragon 898 chipset. Motorola Edge 30 Ultra will also get a 50 megapixel triple camera setup, 144 hertz display, 12 GB of RAM and a 5000 mAh battery. This device is likely to be called as Edge X in China and is expected to debut there in December. The Delhi government has announced a subsidy for installing electric vehicle chargers. The city government is offering rupees 6000 subsidy to the first 30000 applicants for charging stations. The installation and operationalization of electric vehicle chargers will be completed within 7 days of submitting the application. 
TikTok was the world's most downloaded application in October with more than around 57 million downloads. Instagram was the second most downloaded non-gaming application worldwide last month after TikTok. India accounted for the highest number of downloads for Instagram with around 39 percentage. Oppo is going to launch its first ever foldable smartphone this month. The brand has filed the patent for a foldable smartphone which revealed its design. The patent design falls in line with the prototype foldable phone the Oppo has teased last year. Oppo's 125 watt flash charge technology may arrive on the Find X4. Oppo's 125 watt charging can top up a 4000 mAh battery in about 20 minutes. Oppo's Find X4 is expected to arrive sometime in Feb 2022. Thanks for watching this video please kindly support my channel by giving a like share and subscribe and follow Digi Integrity on Twitter Instagram and Facebook